Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. I'm sorry. Do you have a lieutenant sergeant? I do have a Can I get him down here, please? No. Because you don't know what you're saying right now. I can tell you, you, you need to move. Interfering is a physical You act. need to move. You don't know this video is brought to us by The Random Patriot. Be sure to subscribe to their channel and support them by watching their videos. Once again, a big shout out to The Random Patriot. The video begins at the Hot Springs PD. The man recording approaches these two cops inside of their vehicle. He asks them for their opinions on a recent event that involved their department and officers they know about. A sergeant of the department comes out to speak to the man and says that he is interfering. Watch to see what the cop physically does to the man recording next. I just thought of something I wanted to ask you if you got a minute. If you're busy, I'd come yeah, back. So the Halloween incident with the trick-or-treating girls, um, whatever happened with all that, are they... Is there charges being pressed against them still? I don't know the answer. You don't know anything about that? Were you involved in that at all? I was, yes. You showed up? Yes. What do you think about it? You think that you think uh, Lieutenant May was in the right for escalating it to that level? I mean, we're doing our jobs. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, it, it was. I think Lieutenant May was in the wrong. I'm not saying I think everyone else that showed up was in the wrong. They were doing their jobs, but I do think he was in the wrong. What do you think yeah. about it? I mean, we were just doing our job. Do you solid. think he was in the right? Would you, or let me ask you this. Yep. Would you have done it the same way? I couldn't say. I mean, I wasn't in that situation, so. Uh, if I threw, let me ask you this. If I threw a cigarette butt right in front of you right now, would you go hands on with me? It's all going to depend on the situation. Well, all in right. this situation. Right. What are we doing right now? Asking you a question. Okay. Is other units investigating something right now? Uh, no idea. Oh, they came up and talked to us first. Oh, right. well, I'm sorry. I'd be asking if he was busy. Okay, if, if they're investigating or if they're doing something right now, by law, you're interfering in a governmental operation, so y'all need to... Interfering is a physical act, so asking him a question is not interfering. And I literally... Sir. And sir, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish, and then y'all will let you talk. And whenever I walked up here, I asked him specifically, Hey, are you busy? Because if you are, I'll come back. And he said, no, what's up? So now we're talking. No, sir, you're not. You're going to have to move from where he's investigating this. It's not impeding anything. Who's, who's sir, this is what I'm fixing to tell you. You're interfering with a governmental operation. Interfering. If you do not interfering move from right here. Is a, I'm not going to hey, explain it to you. Do you have a lieutenant? Is this the lady he's working with? Do you have a lieutenant? I'm a sergeant. Do you have a lieutenant sergeant? I do have a Can I get him down here, please? No. Because you don't know what you're saying right now. I can tell you, you, you need to move. Interfering is a physical You act. need to move. You so, don't know the statute. So he just you just screwed up, man. If you're going to rightfully, lawfully We're going to stay on the report, sidewalk. Get somewhere you can lawfully record. We'll stay on the sidewalk. Right here. Here. I can lawfully record right here. Thank you, Captain. You're... Oh, I'm, so, I'm very sorry. We're not, look, we're, we're not interfering. We're not going to say anything to anybody. Okay. We're going to stand here and we're going to be quiet. You just let your ego you get ahead of you, man. I'm going to stay at... We're not, Sergeant M. Brown, what's your uh, badge number, please? My badge number is 16. 16. And if you will read the statute, it does not have to be physical. It is. It, it can be verbal. No, it can't. You don't know the law, bro. I do well. know it. I know it better than you. you. You don't even know the First Amendment, brother. So, so then, well, then he took my phone and broke it and got in my face and threatened to arrest if I don't leave the premises. Yeah, threatened to arrest us both. I mean, I don't, I don't know what... What transpired to, to provoke well, that either got way. an obvious break I mean, equipment here. my stuff's broken and we got it on film. Yeah. So well, we're, we're obviously film. you guys are on film just as well. We're, we're obviously not cameras. lying. We, so we film the same thing. So are you kinda in the like, what's your stance on all this? Well until I see a video of, of otherwise, I mean it's just So you're just gonna take his word over no, ours? No, and no one's even getting in his face like we are backing up doing what he's saying, and then he still grabs my phone out of my hand and breaks it because I'm not leaving the entire premises. I don't have to leave the entire premises. No, you don't. I don't. Well, that's what he broke my phone over and threatened to, and threatened to arrest on me for. As far as what I was trying to explain to you, interfering with a governmental operation is not always physical. It can be refusing to comply with a lawful command. And that wasn't a lawful command. He was talking about when he asked you to get off the sidewalk and get out in front of the doors. 
that wasn't a lawful command for me to get off the public. <laughs> is this public property right here? I was well away from everything that was happening. I'm just trying to explain to you what he's. Yeah. What he's well, to tell you. he needs to just be more chill with the public and not try to force your authority over everybody because you, they said something you didn't like. Hold on. That's Hold what on. happened. I know, but stop. stop that is what happened. Okay, but listen. I apologize if I uh, made you feel uncomfortable. What about my equipment? We will address that. Do you apologize for breaking my equipment and getting in my face? As far as get, being in the face, you, you had your camera within 12 inches or less. You walked up you to were, me. I was I I wasn't I didn't move, right, brother. You got in my face. It's right. on camera you getting in my face. Right. And right. that is why I call Hot Springs Police Department trash. Clearly, these cops at the start were too scared to answer the man's question regarding the recent event that happened with the lieutenant they knew. The sergeant who came and spoke to him afterwards started off on the wrong foot and obviously, things led to him getting physical with the man's camera by touching it. On top of that, he broke some equipment. All of these officers seemed to be below par and just wanted to argue with the man filming when he did nothing wrong at all. After just asking some questions, which were completely fine to ask, he got his equipment broken by the officer. Yo, show me some respect, please. Give me your name hey, and your badge number. Me, listen to me. Please listen. show me respect, sir. Listen to me. You need, first you need to relax. You need to relax. Need to you you came up with your fight. This clip is brought to us by Rago Monkey. Be sure to check out their channel and subscribe to them. Once again, a big shout out to Rago Monkey. The clip starts off with a cop pulling over the man recording. It was in the middle of the street in an inconvenient place. All the man did was be with the cop due to them running the red light. The man explains this to the cops. The cops also don't deny this. The first cop has quite the attitude towards the man recording. And watch the full clip to see whether the cops punish the man for beeping at them. I'm in the car. You mean close the door? Is it an order? Close the door. Can I have your name and your badge number? License, registration, insurance. Name and badge number. License, registration, insurance. Why was your gun out? Are you telling me? Why was your gun out? Yo, I just have my license on me right now. I was at the police station. My license is somewhere in the vehicle. I just had it on me. Yo, and my, and my registration is in the... License, registration, insurance. Listen, my, my registration is in the glove box. Go yeah, I'm gonna get everything for you right now. Yo, show me some respect, bro. Please do not flash. Please do not flash that in my eyes. Please. Yo, come on. Yo, show me some respect. Please give me your name hey, and your badge number. Listen to me. Listen Please listen show me respect, sir. Listen to me. You need, first, you need to relax. You need to relax. Need to you, you came need, up with your fire. I need your driver's license. Sir, I'm looking for it. Please. Let's go. I'm waiting for you. I you, need that. It's insurance, sir. It's insurance. License. Sir, I'm trying to be. I'm. You, I'm you need to show me respect. Listen to me, listen to me, relax. I'm sharing the license. You can find your license. So find your license. Can I open the door, please? Go ahead. I was just at the police station and I had my license on me and I took it out of my wallet. Yo, you guys took a red light. I saw you, so I beat that you pieces of. Sh you were hanging out with your boy. You took a red light. He he took the red light. So I beat I beat that. You pulled me over. Yeah. But your friend got an attitude on him. And you know you took the red light. You know y'all sped up. And I beeped at you. And that's why y'all pulled me over. Pull you over. Excuse me? Pull you over. Excuse me? Pull you over. To pull you're me over? Coming in an infraction, right? All right, yeah. I, I didn't, I, I'm not answering any questions, sir. I, 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 I didn't commit I'm any infraction. I didn't why. commit any infraction. I'm just explain to you why. Just write the citation, man. That takes a little bit of time. Yo, today. You know, get to do some real work. Go, go do some real work, bro. Hurry up. Write the citation. I go for... Go find some drugs. What is it? I can't hear him. I, I can't hear him. Let's go, bro. Hurry up. Hey, hey, you, you, you. And your badge number. Listen, sir, you have to listen to the part. Hey, what's your name and your badge what's number? You got the ticket for not wearing your seatbelt. Yo, belt. your name and your you badge have, number, you you Yo, name and badge ticket. number. Why are you My such a skinny? Number is on the ticket. Yo, I'm going to headquarters right now. You f remember tattoos, YouTube or Instagram? What you want to be on first? YouTube or Instagram? So this cop didn't deny that he ran a red light and sped up and just looked at the man and did not say anything. The attitude he shows to the man, you can just tell he looks down on the man filming and knows he has more power than the man so he could do what he wants to him. Surely, he could have pulled him over anywhere else than in the middle of the street. All this because the man beeped at them 
and he had a valid reason to, as they didn't deny it either. Um, because it's, it's private, it's not private, you should close it if you don't want nobody recording it, right? Okay. Well, again. That's your policy to close your, uh, your, close your computer. Car. Your computer, my right? Computer. And it's not your car, it's the people car. Okay. This video is brought to us by Kells Cop Watch Paris. A big shout out to them. Make sure you subscribe to their channel and go check out their videos. The video begins with a cop who thinks that they own the police vehicle. They don't want the man filming the computer that is inside of the vehicle. The female officer ends up calling for backup just for the man who is recording her interaction with a member of the public. Watch what happens when the backup cops turn up and confront the man recording when he did nothing wrong at all. Um, because it's, it's private, it's not private, you should close it if you don't want nobody recording it, right? Okay. Well, again. That's your policy to close your, uh, your, close your computer, car. your computer, my computer, right? Computer. And it's not your car, it's the people car. Okay. We pay taxes for that car. Okay. It's not your car. Okay. You drive it for work, but it's not yours, it's the people car. Close your computer, you don't want nobody recording it, close your computer. You should, you should tell them to come code 3 if you're scared of the camera. Tell them to come code 3. I'm, I'm not for Hi, how are you? What's up with you, bro? How are you? I'm doing good. She yeah. called you code 3? <laughs> code 3, you would have heard the siren, right? Why you go? <laughs> hey, we got, a, uh, we got another Paris deputy here. And guess what he got on, y'all? He got that blue line flag on. Look, look at the blue line flag. Disgrace to the uh, the flag code. Won't you put the, a regular flag? That's not the color of the flag, dude. <laughs> put the regular flag. You you working for America? Not a blue line flag, dude. Deputy, what's your name and badge number? It's, uh, deputy is here. That's what you guys always do. It's right here. Yeah, it you, you you see it right here? It's right here. Can you read? It's right here. Do you, do, that's what you tell the judge when you go to judge? Is it, huh? Is it Kel? Huh? Is it Kel? Is, that, is it Kel? Kel what? Kel's cop watch? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I've talked to you before. Yeah. You're pretty nice last time. Yeah, I was. But I, I don't like how you pulled up and she called you because uh, she thinks somebody's a threat with a, a, a camera. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was at nighttime. It was night time. It was like four of y'all in a circle not doing nothing, wasting pay your tax money. She, she's looking for something to arrest him, asking his name. For what? It's his Fourth Amendment. He has a Fifth Amendment. He didn't commit, he didn't commit no crime. He's trying to get him some help, actually. It don't look like it. He's, he's asking him. Oh, how you, when, when was the last time you've been arrested? What is that in her business? Three cops' cars for me, guys. Guess what I got in my hand? A camera. <laughs> I got a camera in my hand. They don't know nothing about the First Amendment. But they, uh, they swear oath to the Constitution. They put their hand up and they swear their oath to the Constitution. But they don't even swear their oath to the Constitution. Hey, miss, can I get your name? What's your, what's your name, badge number? Why you get why you get him help? What happened? You should get him help. You should get him help. Stop writing people tickets. Tyrant. I'm not sure what this female cop was trying to hide that badly, but she really didn't want the inside of the vehicle being recorded where the computer was. And to call for backup for just one man recording is insanity, and this officer should understand that she's wasted the time of her fellow employees. But unsurprisingly, the officer that turned up was on her side and even didn't say his badge number out loud for the man recording. Obviously, he wouldn't speak like that to the judge, so why would he do this to someone who pays his wages? Some severe training is needed for both of these cops. Footage. So you can actually do a FOIA request. No, what? They're locked down completely? Okay. This clip is brought to us by NY State Audit. Be sure to check out their channel and subscribe to them while you're there. Once again, a big shout out to NY State Audit. The clip starts off at the Rotterdam Police Department. The man recording approaches the building to enter it, but on arrival at the door, it seems to be locked. According to a sign, you need to give your name and address to be able to enter the building. 
While standing outside, an officer turns up and speaks to the man, and watch the video to find out if the cop helps the man or leaves him outside. Located in Rotterdam, New York, Schenectady County. Because naturally, oh, this is locked. Hmm. So you can't even get in. But you can see there's a sign there. All right. So this is going to be a small area. I've been here once before. Pick up some paperwork, I believe, or body cam footage. So you can actually do a FOIA request. No, what? They're locked down completely? Okay. It's not an emergency, but I do need help. Yeah, uh, can you just have somebody come or open the door to the police station at the Rotterdam, uh, Police station. Okay, what did you need to talk to an officer for? Oh, I didn't need to talk to an officer. I just needed to get into the lobby. For what? It's for me. It's a public lobby and the doors are locked. Okay, I have to send an officer back from off the road. What's your name? I'm just a good citizen. Just a, a concerned citizen that just wanted to find out why the door was locked. Because I can't come into the, <laughs> to the building, the public building, if it's locked. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah, that's pretty much what you can call me. Okay, so what's your, what's your name, sir? A good citizen or concerned what's citizen? Your you want you want my my living address? Yes, please. I'm not at my address though. Why would you need that private information if I'm at the police station already? They asked us to get it for every person who calls and walks into the station. So you need my name and my address so I can if come you, into the police station? If you could. Oh, hell no. That makes no sense. I want to keep my... You want me to violate my Fourth Amendment right right off the bat? How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Yeah, I just wanted to get inside and take some pictures and video of the lobby. Yeah, we, I know it's small. <laughs> we get you. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. Uh, our, uh, we got a civilian uh, clerk. When she goes to lunch, the door gets locked for you. Oh, okay. Okay. That's why you got to use the call box, but I get you. Nah, it's all good. I think you guys only got like 45 employees, I believe. Not very big. Nah, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. I uh, did a FOIA request already. Oh, get your name by any chance? Uh, it's Ron Bob. you Oh, that's a You spell that again? That's a hard one, man. Quick one, right? Yeah, what? How you say that? Are you Rum Rumba. Rumba. Uh, what origin is that? German. Really? Ah, cool. That's cool, man. Thank you. And I hope I hope I didn't take uh, take you from something you know more important to come no, over no, here no. and open the door. Okay. This is my zone, so they just called me back because they said somebody was back here that the door is locked. So. Okay. No, I I appreciate that. Done, yeah. Awesome. All right. Thanks. You guys are awesome, man. I'm telling you. I'm not sure why these doors are locked at the department, especially when there are officers present. So surely the department is running, and the only way to get in is either filling out some paper or pressing that you have an emergency. Luckily for this man. An officer came out to him and was extremely professional and even ended up helping him out. He never had any problems with the man recording and they got along great. He also gives his name straight away. A great cop and the man recording was respectful too towards the cop. That's what happens when a cop does their job properly. Thanks for making it to the end of the video guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.